Now we are taking one more example related to Rolle's theorem. In this example, we will verify Rolle's theorem for a function on a given interval. Say the function here is f x is equal to x minus a to the power n, x minus b to the power n, and we have to verify Rolle's theorem for this function on closed interval a b. To verify Rolle's theorem for this function. we will have to first test the three conditions for applicability of rolle's theorem that is we will have to first test whether the function is continuous in closed interval ab second it is differentiable in open interval ab and third the value of function at extremes that is the value of function at the lower limiting value a should be equal to the value of function at the upper limiting value b if these three conditions are satisfied then we will say that we can verify rolle's theorem for this function and if these three conditions will be satisfied then we will find out a point c for which differentiation of this function will be zero and that point c must lie between a and b if we will be able to find a point c lying between a and b such that the differentiation of function at c is zero then we will say that the rolle's theorem is verified so first we will test the continuity if we test the continuity then we know that a polynomial function here if we will multiply these two after expanding using binomial theorem we will find that maximum power of x here will be n and here maximum power of x will be n so if we will get a polynomial of degree m plus n it means it will be a polynomial function and we know that polynomial function is continuous for all real values of x hence given function that is fx will be continuous in closed interval ab now we will test whether this function is differentiable in open interval ab or not and we know that a polynomial function is differentiable for all real values hence this function will also be differentiable between a and b that is in open interval ab now we will test whether the value of function at x is equal to a is equal to the value of function at x is equal to b or not for that first we determine the value of function at x is equal to a that is fa which will be equal to a minus a to the power n into a minus b to the power n and a minus a being zero the value will be zero also the value of function at x is equal to b that is fb will be b minus a to the power n into b minus b to the power n that will again be zero and this implies fa is equal to fb thus all the three conditions of applicability of rolle's theorem are satisfied and if all three conditions are satisfied then we can find out the value of x for which the differentiation of function will be zero so differentiation of function say the function is y then the differentiation of function that is f dash x will be dy by dx that is differentiation of y with respect to x and since it is the product of two functions we can use the product rule 
so x minus a to the power n as such differentiation of x minus b to the power n plus x minus b to the power n as such differentiation of x minus a to the power n this is equal to x minus a to the power n as such and its differentiation n x minus b to the power n minus 1 into differentiation of x minus b and differentiation of x minus b means differentiation of x will be 1 minus differentiation of b will be 0 plus x minus b to the power n and differentiation of x minus a to the power n will be n as such and x minus a to the power m minus 1 multiplied by differentiation of x minus a differentiation of x minus a differentiation of x will be 1 minus differentiation of a will be 0 and this will give you if we will take x minus a to the power m minus 1 and x minus b to the power n minus 1 as common n x minus a plus n x minus b and this is equal to x minus a raised to the power n minus 1 into x minus b to the power n minus 1 into nx minus n a plus mx minus m b now we will have to find a value of x for which differentiation of fx will be 0 if that value of x is c then f dash c is equal to 0 implies c minus a raised to the power n minus 1 c minus b raised to the power n minus 1 into nc minus na plus mc minus mb is equal to 0 since it is the product of three terms so either this is 0 or this is 0 or this is 0 if the first term is 0 then this implies c minus a is equal to 0 implies c is equal to a or if c minus b is 0 then this implies c is equal to b but c must lie between a and b hence c cannot be equal to a or b hence the third factor nc minus na plus mc minus mb is equal to 0 must give the value of c this implies nc plus mc means n plus n into c is equal to mb plus na or you may say c is equal to mb plus na upon m plus n now we shall have to prove that the c lies between b and a and if we have studied the coordinates of a point dividing the line joining two points internally in a certain ratio then this expression will be just like that expression it means if the end points of a line are joined by a and b then c will divide this line joining a and b internally in the ratio m is to n and m into b is there so ratio m will be on this side and n will be on this side 
this implies that c belongs to open interval ab as c is lying between a and b we may say that the rolle's theorem is verified for function fx is equal to x minus a to the power m into x minus b to the power n for closed interval ab now we are taking one more example in this example it is given that the rolle's theorem holds for function fx is equal to x cube plus bx square plus ax within the closed interval 1 3 with the value of c as 2 plus 1 by root 3 then we have to find the values of a and b since the rolle's theorem hold true for this given function and we can see that this function is a polynomial function which is continuous as well as differentiable for all real values of x so we will come to the third condition the third condition for applicability of rolle's theorem states that the value of function at the lower most value of interval must be equal to the value of function at uppermost value of the interval it means f1 must be equal to f3 this implies f3 means 3 cube 27 plus 9b plus 3a must be equal to f1 means 1 plus b plus a and this will give 9b minus b means 8b 3a minus a 2a 2a plus 8b is equal to 1 minus 27 that is minus 26 or a plus 4b is equal to minus 13 now second thing since the differentiation of function is zero at x is equal to c so first we will find out the differentiation of function with respect to x that is f dash x this will be 3x square plus 2bx plus a and f dash c equal to 0 implies 3 into c square plus 2b into c plus a is equal to 0 this implies 3 into the value of c is 2 plus 1 by root 3 so 3 into 2 plus 1 by root 3 whole square plus 2b into c 2 plus 1 by root 3 plus a is equal to 0 this implies a plus 4b plus 2 by root 3 b is equal to minus 3 into 4 plus 1 by 3 plus 4 by root 3 using 1 a plus 4b will be minus 13 so minus 13 plus 2 by root 3 b is equal to minus 12 and minus 3 into 1 by 3 will be minus 1 
माइनस फोर थ्री जेड ट्वेल्व बाई रूट थ्री एंड दिस विल गिव टू बाई रूट थ्री बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस ट्वेल्व बाई रूट थ्री दिस इंप्लाइज बी इज इक्वल टू माइनस सिक्स नाउ इफ यू विल पुट द वैल्यू ऑफ बी इन वन सो फ्रॉम वन ए इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टीन माइनस फोर बी दिस इज इक्वल टू माइनस थर्टीन माइनस फोर इंटू माइनस सिक्स माइनस थर्टीन प्लस ट्वेंटी फोर इम्प्लाइ ए इज इक्वल टू इलेवन इन दिस वे वी कैन फाइंड द वैल्यूज ऑफ ए एंड 